yesterday in the end. Um, I spoke about it in the last vlog. Why am I out of breath? <laughs> I don't know why I'm so out of breath. I um, spoke about it on the last vlog. I was going to work on it but after I'd worked on the palette painting I actually decided to just edit that vlog and I did a bit of admin work in the afternoon and then had a bit of a rest in the evening I felt a bit migrainey yesterday, so I thought I'd leave it until I felt a bit better. And I do today, so I'm going to get started. One thing that has changed since I last worked on it is the easel. This one is actually larger than the one it was on before, so it's hopefully a bit more stable. It's my Windsor & Newton easel, and I actually won this as part of the prize. Um, for an art competition. I won £500 worth of art materials and I was allowed to choose what I wanted from the Windsor & Newton catalogue. Oh, sorry. Now I'm kicking the chair. <laughs> it's like, oh God, I'm so klutzy today. Right, so basically, yes, I've had this quite a long time now. As you can see, it's really well used and I love this easel. It's probably seen the creation of hundreds of paintings in its time and um, it was wonderful to win that because at the time I didn't have much money and I didn't have a proper easel and then I could get this beauty. So, right, I'm really going to get started now. As you can see there's been progress since we last looked at it and um, trying not to film too much because I want to actually just get into the painting and if I keep stopping to film it stops my flow of work but it's nice to be recording the process so I'm going to try and do it every now and again but I added some pink it's going to mainly be covered up but it will kind of give it slight pinkish glow underneath which will be nice. So this is the stage I'm at now and I've been working on it for maybe two hours or so. Um, I'm trying to introduce some colour but also at the same time I don't want it to be too colourful so it's involving a lot of layering and, um, and a little bit of trial and error as well. But um, I'm trying to keep the brush strokes really quite loose, especially for me because I want this to look really textured 
I mean, obviously the surface of the moon is incredibly um, bumpy and textured, so I want it to look like that. But um, it's quite tricky. This is a challenge, but it's one I'm enjoying, so I'll just continue. I was just looking at the footage I filmed just now and I realised how much I like the top part here. So I think I should keep it fairly dark on that side. I don't think I should be making it as light as I am. We'll see. By the way, if I sound tired, it's because I am tired. I've been sleeping really terribly just lately and um, I could do with a really good night's sleep. I'm also finding it really difficult to talk and come up with the right descriptive words. So you're going to have to um, forgive me for, for sounding the way I do today. I wanted to just share this palette I'm using today because this is my first time using this. It's um, the Winsor & Newton tear off palettes and you get 50 of them they're for use with oil and acrylic and if you can see it's like a pad of paper shaped like a palette <laughs> which is rather handy and um, the paper's coated with something that stops the paint absorbing into it so it's kind of a slightly shiny surface but um, it seems to be keeping the paint wet and mixable for much longer than my normal palette so this is the stage we're at at the moment and I think what I'm going to do is just use up this white paint here and um, do a few minutes more and then just call it a day and go and edit this footage, make it into a vlog. I've decided I'm going to do lots of shorter vlogs, maybe five, six, seven minutes, something like that for each one. and. Um, I don't know whether I can daily vlog. Could I daily vlog and just do them like this? Maybe I could. This could be an idea actually while I'm working on this. I'll do a daily progress update, <laughs> like mini vlogs. Anyway, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll say goodbye to you now and see you tomorrow.